It's that time of the season. It's time for season 5 predictions, and it'll be a fun one. Similar to season for predictions, I will be explaining theme, exclusives, and legacy songs, along with 5 avatars. However, the background is a grinding session from a video I'm working on for my second channel, named Blaze Black 2. But I'm Jack Rose, and similar to the season for predictions, I will name any shinies I catch after either artist or coach of the song currently mentioned or last mentioned. But anyway, let's begin. First up is the theme, which is technically a rumor. I believe the theme for season 5 will be similar to season 2, where all if not, most of the songs were on the same category of songs. And the theme I think we'll get is a theme around Y2K, being called Back in My Day or something like that. It means all the exclusives and legacy songs will be from Y2K. And sadly, Enemy won't be on this list. But don't worry. For those who wanted to see me predict Enemy and be sad deep down because it's not in the season, I chose a replacement. But let's begin with the exclusive songs. I guess I'll start with the enemy replacement. And no, it's not because there is a shiny next. So since the season prediction is based around Y2K, I can't put enemy on this list, since it's from 2021. Any Y2K song mostly means songs from the years 2000 to 2009, with some from 2010, and maybe 1999. And most people may think that Imagine Dragons started in the 10s, which is mostly songs from 2010 to 2019. But here's the thing, they actually had extended plays or EP before its time came out. Those two extended plays being called Imagine Dragons EP and Hell and Silence EP. Hell and Silence EP released in 2010, so the song isn't from that extended play. Imagine Dragons EP actually released in 2009, meaning the song is from this extended play. And the song I'm predicting is Cover Up. This is one of the most well-known songs from this extended play, since it was later added to Night Visions Deluxe and was part of the 10th anniversary album for Night Visions as well. This is why I predicted Cover Up. Now this next one, the only reason why this is on here is because I know everyone in the comment section will be like, what about this song? Because I've seen loads of people talk about this song, which is slightly confirmed to have a Carrillo, since Gabriella concept art appears in a video with the words and the code name for both Gabriella avatars have the word and I'm predicting wine up, because it feels like you all have me at gunpoint if I don't predict this song. You can point them away, just don't put the other beta song from the Y to K in the comments, it will be deleted. Now back to the predictions, where it's time to predict a song. I will be shocked if they don't add it. Plus, we could get a record of the longest absence for having this band as an exclusive. And the song I'm referring to is Feel Good Inc. by Gorillaz. Look, we need Gorillaz back in Just Dance. It's been a long time, and Dare was an iconic Just Dance 1 track, and it's even included in the lore of The Bride and Rasputin, since the coach is with Rasputin in YMCA. This is why I chose it. Next up is an iconic song from Y2K, and it needs to be in the game so bad. The last solo song by this artist we had was a cover, and I think we need to have a second chance at this artist in a solo song. And the song I'm referring to is Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera. Before anyone says, yes, I know it's from 1999, before like getting everything like set up, I literally thought it was from 2000 for some weird reason. Like in the predictions list of my list of predictions, I put that as an exclusive along with an avatar. So that is cl cl clearly such an issue. Plus, I th this is like w one of the known um, Christina Aguilera songs that well, I also know, and I'm from. I was born in 2005, so I don't know why I was thinking this was bo this came out in 2000 when it came out in 1999. My guess is that I thought it came out in 2000 because it kind of like got its popularity in 2000, I think. But I am not 100% sure. I don't know that much about the song. So for the sake of this video, we are going to say this is from to 2000, and we'll just go on with our day because. I still have loads of other songs to go through. One more exclusive and f all five um, legacy. So let's just say that I thought it was from 
2000, and it's like a really well-known song. It's not just that, but Disney covered it later on with Dove Cameron singing it to promote a, I think, Descendants film or something. I'm not sure. Maybe um, the animation, animated Descendants, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is why I chose it. Next up is a song that loads of people may want, since we have one of the artists of this band, but not the entire band. I know one of my friends will really want this artist. But this one actually makes sense to add. And unlike Genie in a Bottle, I actually did my research, so I know this actually released in 2000. And the song I'm talking about is Bye 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 by NSYNC. Do I need to say anything? If we get better place, this could be great a warm up for it. This is why I chose it. And now it's time for legacy songs. Let's get this one out of the way. Don't say anything. It's tradition to predict this. Next up is a song from 2005 that appeared in the first game. And it's being, like I said, part of the lore because of loads of loopholes. And that being the song Dare by Gorillaz. Now, yes, I predicted Feel Good Inc. But this isn't the only artist I did it with. The reason I chose this is mostly because I feel like it's time we finally got this back. We haven't had Dare since 2012 with greatest hits, and I feel like it's time for it to return. Plus, if the theme is Y2K, then it might be a perfect addition as it came out in 2005. This is why I predicted this. The third song is such a special one to predict, because we got Busta Rhymes in Just Dance 2020 for edition, so it makes sense to add this to the list. And the song I'm referencing is Run the Show by Cat Deluna featuring Busta Rhymes. Just Dance 4 has some of the best songs, and Run the Show is one of them. And this isn't even the last Just Dance for song, there's another. The reason I chose this is because it's one of the most iconic Just Dance for songs, similar to Disturbia. Plus, Just Dance for songs peaked in the first three seasons. Five of the 16 legacy songs were Just Dance for songs. It feels like it's time to get this song back in Just Dance, which is why I predicted it. Next up is what seasons 2 and 3 had which is a song from Just Dance 2022. Now, before you ask, a legacy song is a song that is returning and never got added to Just Dance Unlimited. And since Just Dance 2022 was the last game to feature Just Dance Unlimited, it technically counts as a legacy song, which is why Pop Stars and You Make Me Feel Mighty Real were counted as legacy songs. Out of all the ones from the game, Buttons is the best to predict. This one was selected over other Just Dance 2020 to songs from Y2K is because of these following reasons. This coach doesn't have a name. And we knew Scarlet Gold's name and the names of the KDA members. Princess was actually on Unlimited, so it wouldn't be a legacy song. Rock Your Body was already on Unlimited. Sure, YOY and YO High were on Unlimited and counted as legacy songs, but let's just be real. Rock Your Body and Levitating won't come to plus unless if it's one of the songs getting added in celebration of a new game. And Chacaron is. This is why I chose Buttons over the others. And now, let's talk about the last song, being from Just Dance 4. Obviously. And the other Just Dance 4 song is the song Ain't No Other Man. Before you ask why I put the cover, do you expect them to uncover this? Now, I think we need this back, since, similar to Disturbia and Run the Show, it's iconic. It was a Wii U exclusive, which meant some couldn't play it, which is the main reason I chose this over any other Y2K song. Plus, oops, I did it again is already on Just Dance Unlimited, so it wouldn't be a legacy song, even if it was uncovered. Now onto the avatars. And I'm just going to put coaches on screen without explanation. Gabriella, Caldwell, Epic, Gabriella, Coach of Genie in a Bottle, and the Queen who serves are the five avatars I think we'll get in this season. And that's pretty much it. So hope you all enjoyed the video, and like and subscribe if you want to see more.